been thinking about some things lately. California is about to recall Governor Newsom. Do you think that'll actually work? I don't think so. I really don't. Hey, I'm Jay. California's about to have a recall election for Governor Newsom. Um, I don't think it's going to accomplish anything. I really don't. The, I'm hearing people talk about they have faith in the system. That uh, their vote will actually count for something. I think that we saw in November, our votes really don't count for much at all. Maybe local stuff, but depending on the size of your town. This town that I live in, yeah, they probably would count, but uh, if I lived in St. Louis, no. I mean, I've seen the kind of mess they've got going on in St. Louis. I work over there. So, anywho. So what do we do about our politics and stuff? I mean, do you trust the system? Do you trust the plan? <laughs> you know, the Bible says not to put your faith in, in man. So this is what I'm seeing. The only way that we are going to get out of this and it will not be unscathed. Is to turn back to God. We are. I think. In a judgment right now. Did God cause the forest fires. In California and all over the west. Maybe. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. He's allowing them to go on. And pestilences, natural occurrences, natural natural disasters. Um, sometimes they're judgments from God. And as widespread as this thing is, I think that's probably the case. I mean, we as a nation have slaughtered 70, many, 70 million children in the last 45 years. We sacrificed them on the altar of self. Just killed them because we didn't want them. God don't look too kindly on murder. <clears throat> Excuse me. He especially doesn't look too kindly on the murder and abuse of children. And speaking of abuse, there's a lot of... Um, sex trafficking going on well anyway there's a lot of stuff that I could get into that I just want but there's no way we're going to vote our way out of this not in California not in 2022 surely not in 24 if this nation does not turn back to God it's going away. And the powers that be right now, they're doing everything they can to make sure that it goes away. So what do you do? Crack a Bible. Whether you like it or not, crack a Bible. See if there's something in there that speaks to you. See if the words of Jesus have any meaning. Those would be in the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, some in the Acts. Read what Solomon has to say in Proverbs. 
for a book to be as old as it is, there's a lot of wisdom in there. A lot. Crack it up and read it for yourself. Don't, don't necessarily believe what your church teaches. Some random te uh, preacher, teacher that you see on YouTube, don't believe them. I'm not telling you to be unbelieving. I'm just telling you, do not believe them. You need to read for yourself. Because some of these preachers, teachers, are going to intentionally lead you the wrong way. So open the book. Read it. See what it says to you. Hear the cicadas? Y'all have a good day. Good weekend. God bless you. God bless you.